All right, Mom, Andrew Tate. Have you heard of this guy or no? Absolutely never heard of him. This year, he's kind of gone viral on TikTok mainly. Okay. Or really controversial takes. Okay. And he just says really confidently on like clips. Okay. So he has a website where people pay a membership fee. All right. And they get a bunch of life advice and bullshit like that, like how to make money and all this shit. I mean, is that right? legit? Is his life ad- I don't know how legit? legit. Well, he's apparently like worth over a hundred million dollars or something, but- Where did he get I, his money from? He, he owned a webcam business. Okay. With like 75 girls. <laughs> okay, he has that website. It's $50 a month or whatever. And what he figured out was he could do affiliate marketing where promotes his website. They'll get $5 if someone signs up with their link or whatever. Okay. You know what I mean? And so next thing you know, he has- thousands of kids making clips of him for tiktok try to get affiliate code like revenue he's like borderline i mean he's pretty much says like some sexist shit try to go viral even more like he Mm. says really controversial shit Mm. to try to like get people to talk about him do you know what i mean okay okay so he's just kind of like a pos and he just doesn't care and he just goes on with his life right yeah okay. i guess yeah so, and, and he has a bugatti he has 10 million dollars worth of cars he lives in romania what? and which is a red flag because he said publicly that he lives in romania because it's you know less strict with when it comes to rules oh he's probably just running a whorehouse or some stupid shit like yeah that. some yeah like just, underground prostitution i was getting on a plane and i could see through the cockpit that a female was a pilot and i took a picture and i said most women I know can't even park a car. Why is a woman flying my plane? And they banned me. Good. Fucking idiot. Huh? Said good. Mm. Shit banned. What do you mean? Idiot. So angry already. This is really going to get me hyped up. I need to turn the damn AC on. <laughs> for a man, it's harder than life for a woman. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. If you're truly beautiful, you don't need anything else. I've been on boats in Dubai with 19 year old Moldovan girls. The guy who got that boat needed a hundred million dollars. That bitch makeup, same boat. That's how hard it is. Look at a game of chess. The king moves one square at a time. What does the queen do? Zips here, zips there. Easy for a chick, right? If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you're useless because in the harshest realities of this cold world, there are people in Syria whose entire families have been blown to fuck who are still getting up every day, making fucking bread and selling it on the streets so they have enough money to buy a new pair of sandals sometime next year. Okay. I do kind of agree with him because Americans are soft. I mean, you look at what's going on in Ukraine and you look at these women and children trudging up and down the streets and, and doing what they need to do and their husbands leaving and going to fight who don't even know what to do. I don't think the Americans can do that. I think Americans are a little soft. So what do you think about the girl, that, the makeup one? The makeup one, he can kiss my ass. He is a yeah. sexist SOB. Why, why is that particular statement sexist? Because he's talking about women have it easy. All they have to worry about is putting makeup on. He, I mean, I'd love to see his ass give birth. You know, this is what it takes. This circle right here is how big things get to get a baby out. I'd like to see a man try to do that shit. Why is it not universal across the human condition? Why are some countries more depressed than others? Mm. Explain why some countries have no depression and some countries have a bunch of depression. Maybe because in some countries, all we do is talk about depression and fucking promote it. Bam. And in some countries, we don't. The reason that depression is promoted is because it allows you to become ultimately selfish, live inside of your mind, become obsessed with me, me, me. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. So you don't pay enough attention to what's going on around you to realize you're getting fucked by a ruling class who don't give a shit. And anyone who sits here and tells me, well, depression's real, you're telling me that your mindset is weak. And I'm not going to adopt the thinking of weaklings. I'm busy living fucking life. Michael Jackson was anything less than a G. And now all these kids are coming out going, he touched me, he touched me. Let me tell you something. If you were a parent and you let your kid stay around Michael Jackson's house, now you want to come here and be all upset your kid got touched. Who cares? Get over When somebody is clinically depressed, a, a, a doctor can tell. I think we overuse the word, I'm depressed, I'm, you know, whatever i think people overuse that word but there is a real thing as clinically depressed people are diagnosed by a physician and depressed 
and you don't actually speak to someone and and they can't look you, you know, look and sit and visit with you at an appointment and say, you know, I believe you're depressed, then <clears throat> you shouldn't walk around and go, I'm just depressed. I'm just depressed. I think it's overused. But unfortunately, the, uh, the healthcare system in the United States is so fucking broken that people can't get proper mental health care. Hence, Uvalde and all these other shootings are happening. People are not getting properly diagnosed with in, in the mental health care system. And it costs so damn much. But uh, the, the health care system in the United States is a broken system that does not provide proper mental health care for uh, uh, U.S. citizens. And it, it, the system is broken. I do think too many people walk around and, you know, and, and it's easy to go, I'm just, I'm so depressed. I'm so depressed about it. 1% of men with all men. The majority of men have no money, no power, no sex from their wife, Facts. no fucking chance in court. They can't even keep their house. They won't get to see their kids. So most men, their life sucks. That's the first thing. The second thing, when a man gets up at four in the morning to go carry garbage to earn a good wage, he ain't thinking, I'm going to do this so I can oppress that bitch because she's broke. <laughs> He's doing it thinking so I can provide for my family so my woman can stay at home and raise my kids and have nice nails while I'm out here carrying trash. You go to a coal mine. Those dudes are not down there thinking about oppressing women. They're down there thinking about providing for women. Us men are prepared to take on more bullshit to protect you than you would possibly believe. Men are out here giving up their fucking life for you chicks it's and really feminism crazy. prevents you respecting it there are millions of women that are walking around this world universe that are single <laughs> independent universe i mean the whole universe of women the whole everybody okay oh he's getting me world I'm hot i'm hot now i'm sweating my, oh, i can feel my armpit sweating this guy's pissed me off okay first of all how many how many moms are raising their children and men have walked away not all men are bad but there are what he's saying is a woman can't provide for a family, which is completely incorrect. You can find a way and make a way to provide for your family. That's that's my argument with a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff he says is person by person. Yeah, it he is. He says as a general statement. Right. I know women who, oh, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. I need to rest. Bullshit. If you have kids, you got to get up, pick your ass up and go do what you need to do. You can go rest it later. I mean, I did that with you guys, but that's just me. You know, I mean, there are men lazy, you know, don't want to do this, don't want to fix it, don't want to mow the grass, don't want to help with the house, don't want to help with the kids. It's the woman's job. It's both sides with that. You can't just in a general statement say that men are willing to give up everything to provide so their women can have nice nails. F you, buddy. Yeah, let's keep going. Ugh. Slave if you have a job in any form. Some slaves are better paid than others, but most people are slaves. If the people in charge of the world can print unlimited amounts of said thing, and you'll give up your life for certain amounts of said thing, then they own you. They control you. Oh, you need $100 to do this. Print. It doesn't matter. It's not real. So who cares? What does that even mean? That was a stupid analogy of whatever <laughs> having money or having a job what is it what was he's that saying about? he he says that people that have jobs are slaves that's his argument yeah. that like well I would, okay. you can't really do whatever you want okay look, look mofo you're drinking pasteurized milk and meat that's processed in production plants and you're driving a car that somebody made so you tell me all these people that were you know uh working blue collar worker providing for you to eat sleep drink you know do all the things that you need to do a little baldy um they are working hard and they're not slaves they're hard workers they're good they're probably getting up at 4 a.m going to a factory and working all right here's a an, a, mm. a clip about only fans real quick what would you do if i wanted to start an only fans i don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing only fans mm -hmm. as long as i had influence and control over it what do you mean Doing a bit of photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. All Why right. would, what woman is going to give you eight grand? You're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my product. What the fuck? Your product? Yes, no, correct. Not, she's not Next question. No. She, I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally that. serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. 
What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Okay, he must be just completely joking because that's a completely ridiculous statement. I don't care what job a woman is doing. So just because it's OnlyFans, which I don't, I've never seen. In no, OnlyFans. look, here's, here's the thing. Here's the bad thing about that. Someone asked him, like, what about if a guy does OnlyFans? Does he have to give his girl money? And he said no. Okay. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what job a female is doing. So if she goes out and she's a model, does he owe her money? Because that's his that's his product and that he owns it. If she's a yes. model, he's a freaking jerk. Idiot. Okay. So I don't know. This guy's off his rocker. I don't know where he comes from. But I guess, you know, I would really wonder deep down, does he believe some of the shit is spewing out of his mouth? That's, I feel like some of it's some of it's obviously a character to go viral. Right. That's what I think. Yeah, but do you think? I mean, just like I don't. The know. The issue is a lot of kids now, like sixteen-year-olds to like twenty-five-year-olds, are like, "Mom, there's so many." He has like a cult following now that like <sighs> truly believe everything now. Well, see, that's the problem. But so, Cameron, since we've started this YouTube stuff back 2016, mm. I always said from the very beginning that kids and people are influenced by what they see and do. But there are so many people that are followers that want more, will agree to anything, will will be a yes man, yes woman, and say, oh yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah, that's a great idea. Even though it's a terrible idea to jump off a 16-story building. They do it for approval, friendship, and whatever it takes to be accepted. And so when you put out content, as a content creator, which I've said this before, whether it's a rapper, singer, YouTuber, whatever the content is, you have to be careful because people are going to watch your content and some of them are going to be cult-like and they're going to want to emulate what you've done. There's already like two other guys that are going viral for basically doing the same stuff. Now. Exactly. So now if you've got young people that are influenced by that, like they are by a lot of things, you have those group of people that mentally are more followers. They, they're looking for something to cling to, whether it's friendship, this, that, you know, religion, <clears throat> um, a, a group, something to cling to, saying some things about being depressed here and there and just overusing the word. But, you know, this guy, for the most part, is like 99% idiot. So if you were to look up the highest IQs in the world, the first 10, first 20, look them up. Are they men or women? I haven't done this. Look it up. I did highest IQ in the world. Literally what comes up. Marilyn Von Savant has one of the world's highest cool. IQs. She is known cool. as the smartest person in the world. Cool. Then, then, all right, cool. Then I'm, then I'm totally wrong. I never even said, all I told you is that the most stupid people in the world were men and the most intelligent people in the world were men. I, re I read a study on it four or five years ago and I thought, you know what? I know some stupid men. I don't know women that dumb. I agree with that. And I know some really smart men. I don't know women that smart. I agree with I that. I think you're very smart. But for everything you say, there couldn't be argument that an intelligent woman wants nothing to do with you because you think they're stupid. But stupid guys are like, this guy's going to make me a ton of money. So you run into a lot of stupid guys. And the intelligent women are going their own way. Well, that would be a, a large generalization, Dave. <laughs> That's what we're doing. There's been a lot of those here today. Hmm. That was... So so what he was trying to say that only men are the smartest and dumbest but then they looked it up and it was like he was wrong smartest girl is the, the smart, girl. smartest person in the world is a female marilyn savant or whatever he said i don't know i've never mm -hmm. looked that up because it's not important um who's the smartest the top five smartest people in the world i mean you know live your own life this guy is filling people's heads with all this garbage i think people just need to um, make sure that they disengage from social media at times, not follow people like a cult, stay away from situations where you're going to be trying to be persuaded to do or say certain things. Be your own person always first. This guy is got a, you know, heavily loaded arsenal of a bunch of crap. Say a lot of stuff about women like that they're your property. That's not what I said. I was talking about an OnlyFans company when that was question was asked. 
But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. Well, that's crazy. That one's crazy. If you, so you think that a man going out with a girl, that that's just your property? That one was nuts. I'm, I'm nuts now. Good. If a guy and a girl is dating and a girl does OnlyFans, she owes him a cut? She is his girl. But what does that have to do with anything? Because she's his. So that is you saying that women are y your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him. And the intimate parts of her body belong to him because they're in a relationship. And if she wants to sell those, he has a stake in those intimate parts of her body. So it's reverse. A uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know, because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman yeah, that's inherently the where you get called sexist for. Oh, my God. I can't even listen <laughs> they to Porno, him. I got him there. I mean, they got him there. He, he is completely sexist. That is the dumbest thing ever. I really hope that, you know, young men don't watch this guy and believe that they, you know, are dating somebody. So that woman's body belongs to them and they're because they're dating somebody. That is not the case. They, you, know what, they, you know what this is going to lead to, Bob? What? <laughs> it's going to lead to way more domestic violence. Well, That's what this is going to lead to. Well, I mean, if guys think that they, they need to control the person that they're dating, because they own them, that is completely wrong. That is terrible. It doesn't matter how they're making their money. Why does he think it's it's just because they're showing their body on OnlyFans, so he thinks he owns them because they're showing their breasts to somebody on OnlyFans? So he needs part of that money. He is psychotic. He actually <laughs> needs some therapy. I really don't understand this guy's thinking. That has to be a sham. He has to be doing that on purpose just for attention because that is already control issues in domestic violence with men controlling women whether it's verbally or physically <clears throat> and it's very bad it's always been bad and women get caught up in that and it's not good and for somebody to be out there promoting something like this like i control <clears throat> you and you owe me part of the money that you make on OnlyFans because you are dating me and you showed your breasts so now your breasts belong to me so you owe me money that is the yeah. dumbest thing ever. That is so <laughs> stupid. I would tell, shout out to the world that guys need to, young people need to not believe this guy. Not a freaking word he says. This video, if this gets in the recommended, we're probably going to get a lot of hate comments. Like there's guys out there that literally worship this guy. Well, then they can kiss this. I just flipped him the bird. That's right. You, you saw it there. That's what I think. If you believe this guy and believe things like that, you need to get your head checked because that is not how you treat your partner to her partner, her man or wife, whatever she has, whoever, whatever their partners are, they should not treat one another like that. That is not caring for one another. That is not, you don't own somebody like that. You have a, a, uh, if you're in a committed relationship, you have that, uh, commitment to them to be with them and no one else, no one else. And that's what you've agreed to do. But I'm not saying to you, oh, I'm going to open OnlyFans. So I'll give you a cut. And it's nothing to do with it. <clears throat> All right. If you're new channel, subscribe. Follow me and my mom on Twitter and Instagram. Fucking love you guys. That's right. Love Peace you guys. Out. Peace.